My name is Jules Optin Himmel. I'm the farmer and owner at Walrus and Carpenter Oysters. It was the beginning of the pandemic and we were really struggling because all our restaurants had closed so we were looking for outlets and how we could sell all these oysters because if we didn't sell them there wouldn't be room for the next crop. And I went to John and said, would you ever think about carrying our oysters? And he said, definitely. And like, he set up a promotional event. He said, bring me 1,600 oysters. And I was like, you're not gonna sell 1,600 oysters. Like, we, I maybe thought I'd bring you 100 a week and maybe you'd be able to sell those because they don't really sell very fast at grocery stores. But he was like, no, we're gonna price them at $10 for 10. And that's a great number. You get 20 for 20 bucks. People are gonna love them. And I was like, all right, I'll, if you want 1,600 oysters, we brought them and he promoted it. And they all sold out in like two or three hours. And I was completely shocked. I was like, I could not believe that happened. It was really an awesome feeling that, you know, he took the time to make that happen and it worked. And then we've been selling since, you know, not that volume, but weekly. And it's, it's, I take great pride in the fact that I can tell people to, if they want our oysters, that they can get them on Thursdays when I deliver them is the same day I harvested them. And they're right there in the community where I live. Our mission is to farm the ocean, restore the environment, and distribute our sustainable seafood directly to our community. And we made a choice to stay the size we are and really focus on our craft and our process and our team. And I found that to be very rewarding as opposed to growing every year. So I'm really proud of that fact. I'm really impressed with what Urban Greens does to promote local businesses, local farms, tell our stories, and take the time to do it. I mean, I know it's a little bit harder than if you buy through a big distributor. And, you know, I've tried to work with other retailers and grocery stores, and it's not user-friendly for a small farmer. So this has been a really uh, wonderful and unique experience.